All right, this is our last float review. And I hope by now you see this as just a glorified list. Here's what our make it look like this is showing. And here is, here is what it looks like in the browser. So you can see a lot of uh, work needs to happen here. This looks like an ordered list. So this looks like, look at this, it's a very long tag tree. Um, so just something that's kind of fun to look at in the inspector is that when you have a long list like this and maybe you get lost, you can't see the whole tag tree, it is right down here at the bottom. Um, so if I'm hovering over uh, an A tag, let's see. Oh my goodness. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here it is. Hovering over an A tag, I can see down below, down here, this is the tag tree for that, oof, for that A tag. Let me make this a little, get it off my dock. There we go. You can see the tag tree. It's got, uh, it's in an OL that has a class of mod and a class of clear fix. It's, and that is in a div that has a class of section and first. I guess these two lists are first and second. So uh, it's just handy to know that there is a tag tree down there. Um, maybe I will do like the old, like the last project, I'll do the top list with floats and the bottom list with uh, the display in line, like the last lab. So let's take a peek at the CSS. Here's what we have here. I think both of those lists are in the gallery class. There's gallery OL and gallery LI and gallery fig caption. Let's just look. Um, here's my first list and it is in section first main title. Where's the gallery class? Oh yeah, here it is. Div class equals gallery section. And then is this other list? Yeah, they're both in a section called gallery. Uh, let's begin with a generic rule. The gallery.ol will say list style and none. Save and refresh. Okay, there the numbers are off. And now we'll do the gallery first. Let's go to that. Uh, I don't see it here, so I'll create it. It's going to be dot gallery. And dot first. And li. And here we'll say float left. Let's get the punctuation in here. Uh, save. So this is a multi-part contextual selector. You can see the dot gallery and then a space and then the dot first and then a space and then an li. That's going to be in the top list. Uh, there's the first, there's the gallery, class equals dot gallery, and then we have class equals dot first, and then we have our LIs that I'm styling these links. So let's refresh, and there they all are side by side. Whoops, look at that. I know I need to add the clear fix. Where did I last use it? Horizontal menu, I think. Ooh, yeah, there it is. I don't like using this clear fix. I don't know why I feel that way, but. Oh, that's the horizontal menu. I was going to say, oh my gosh, it's already there. Here we are. I'll put it up here at the top, underneath the body. Now I have to add it to the HTML. All right, so now I have to add it to the OL. Uh, class equals dot mod, so we get here, space, Clear fix, save, and refresh. All right, now that's scooching down where it needs to be.
All right, let's clean up the second list with the display inline feature. That's the quick way. Let's inspect. So I'll be styling some li tags that are in a div with a class of last. Let's look at the CSS and get to work. I'm going to use the, uh, oh, I'm on the horizontal menu. Whoops. Here we are. I'm going to use the gallery specificity as again here because we might need it. And this time it's going to be last and li. Display inline block. Save and refresh. Whew, that was quick and easy, huh? We'll do some more uh, styling. We'll get these boxes, these white boxes on them, and uh, style those subheads in the next video.